Chris here with Sons of Liberty Survival and today I'm going to talk to you about fire making. This is a basic survival skill that you need to survive. When you're planning your bug out bag typically there are five C's that you want to pay attention to. Those five C's are cutting, combustion, cordage, container and cover. So when you're making your bug out bag you need to incorporate these five C's somewhere in that pack. Now today we're going to talk about what I think, in my opinion, is the most important one, combustion. In order for you to make fire, you need three different things. You need fuel, you need oxygen, and you need heat. Now fire making is an art, and you have to work with the materials that you're given in a survival situation. Uh, but make sure you can work with dry tinder as much as possible. Uh, I try to hone my fire skills as often as possible. Uh, I am no we're near a, an extreme expert, but I can start a fire if need be uh, with materials that I do have in my bug out bag. Now when you're selecting your materials to make a fire, you need tinder, kindling, and fuel. With tinder it's dry twigs. Um, Dry twigs are normally found at the lowest bottom of the branch and you know, on the tree. Uh, they snap off real easily. Um, so when you're picking tinder, it's going to be no thicker than a pencil lead and it's going to be from, you don't want it any really bigger than from your pinky to your thumb. So about that, about that much of a distance. And when you're doing it, you want enough to fill up about a circle with your hand. Kindling, kindling you don't want any wider than your thumb and it's going to be about as long from your elbow to your fingertips and you want at least you know a good size armful. Now fuel, you don't really want it much, any much thicker than your wrist and you're going to have to chop it down anyways and it's going to be from your arm, from the end of your arm to the tip of your fingers and that you want it from the stack from from the ground to the top of your knee. You want a good good amount of stack. Now there are different types of ways you can build a fire. Um, the common ones are making a teepee, uh, making a lean-to where you make a stick at a 45 degree angle and then you branch off little sticks around that and you kind of work your fire in the middle. And then the pyramid where it's kind of almost like a log cabin but you stack them in uh, different layers. These are just some of the basics for that. Uh, there are a lot more uh, out design, fire designs out there. Um, I will get to some of those later in other videos. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to talk about, I just talked about those two. And now, when you're making a fire and you're going to light it, you want to use the most modern technique that you have in your bag to the most primitive obviously saving the primitive for last. Primitive uh, would be being a bow drill. Uh, you know you can make one of those out with some scraps of uh, fallen logs and stuff like that out in the woods. Like I was saying you want to start with your most modern and work all the way down to the most primitive. Uh, and that being said um, you know when you exhaust one material you move down to the next line you know of your fire starting materials in your bag. So obviously you use your lighter till it's all gone. Then um, you know these little products are pretty nifty. They're made by Strike Survival. Uh, that you can fill it with lighter fluid. Um, I use Ronson's. Um, pretty much what it is is it's a it's a two, it's a container. It's got an O-ring and you know make sure you want to cover the top of the hole so no lighter fluid leaks out. Now you want to firmly. Well, it's really wet. And then you got a fire match, pretty much. And uh, this will last for as long as you know there's lighter fluid and you have wick. The wicks are interchangeable. And this is a good little nifty tool to have. Comes in two different designs. 
You have a ferro rod with magnesium. You just take your knife. You scrape it off. I'm not going to scrape any off on this. But that's what you'd normally do. You'd scrape a whole a little pile of shavings about the size of a quarter. And then you take your knife and, and you strike it with the ferro rod on the other end to ignite it. On top of your, you know, your little fire pile that you've made. This is basically pretty much the same thing. Uh, except it's using sandpaper and, and smaller ones. This uh, kit actually comes with uh, other fire tinder materials and a cotton ball. Uh, I'll put all the links of these in the description. And this is basically pretty much you know a striker with the ferro rod. Now, all these materials can be used to make fire. Me personally, I like ferro rods and you know magnesium because they're real simple to work with. You know you can light them under wet conditions. Uh, the great thing about ferro rods is that you can throw them in water, you know, get them wet, take them out, dry everything off, you know, you can use your pants or, you know, bandanas or whatever you have, and then they'll start right back up. Um, believe it or not, these two actual all the products are actually, you know, water resistant. You can drop them in water, you know, pull it out. Obviously dry them off. Open it up. Once again. <laughs> Forgot to dry off the outside. Takes a little while, but you get the idea. You know, nobody's perfect. You will get a little frustrated while making a fire in a survival situation. You know, your nerves will get the better of you. But you just kind of have to push through it. The, the kit I really want to talk to you about today is the weatherproof fire starter kit uh, put out by Epiphany Outdoors Gears, it's by, by Pocket Bellows. And what it contains is it contains their Baddest Bees Fire Fuses, which is a cotton tinder uh, formula, and it contains beeswax and olive oil on the outside, which is weatherproofing of itself. The container also comes you know, in a waterproof case to help it. Um, they come in kits of small ones and uh, up to a larger one that has 20 of them inside. And uh, All their products are individually sealed in tubes that just like this. This one is their V3 fire bellowing tool. It's compact Easily fits in any of your survival kits, extends up to 21 inches to keep your face from the fire, to add uh, air oxygen to it because that's one of the things you need. It works wonders to start wet, uh, wet fuels and can be used in home fireplaces, wood stove, fire pits, uh, you can use it on barbecue briquettes. Or if you want, you can use it as a 21-inch straw to you know, steal some of your margarita from your friend. Now, everything in this kit is, you know, is great. It's all, it's, everything comes in its, own, in its own container. So, I mean, you can put it, you know, fill it with whatever you want. Or you can just, you know, leave the kit in itself. In itself. So with this kit, it comes with obviously the V3 bellowing fire tool, baddest bees, and the striker. And like I said, everything is waterproof, floats. You know, you can dunk, dunk it underwater, take it out. You don't even have to dry it off if you don't want to. You know, and everything comes out 
dry, just like you'd want it. And that is one of the products I like to keep in my bug out bag, uh, in addition to a few others. Um, I'll have, uh, you know, obviously you want redundancy. Uh, my motto is uh, two is one and one is none. Now these Baddest Bees fire fuses, like I said there, weatherproof all, weatherproofed all of their own with the beeswax and olive oil mixture. Um, I already had one in here, uh, taken apart just to kind of show you. So it'll be nice and tight on one end, and then when you want to take your knife, and you want to just kind of fray the end, and then you want to pull it apart so you get you know a, a daisy pattern about the size of a quarter, and then you know you put that on your your fire tinder underneath your TP, your pyramid, or your lean to. And then you would take your striker, and obviously you would strike on top of that. And these light up fire just like that. Uh, you know, I was using them all weekend to you know make my fire pit fires. And that's just some of the basic information uh, that I can give you right now. Uh, I will go more in depth on all those items. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little ammunition that you can use for yourselves. Um, I will answer any questions that you may have. Uh, I'm not opposed to talking to anyone out there. Uh, if you'd like to email me, you can find my email in the about section. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit of something today and have a good day.